This is the third video from the module Whole Numbers and Integers. And in this video we're looking at the place value of large numbers. The first question is what is the place value of the 5? So we can see here that the 5 is in this position. So the place value of the 5 is 5, 10, thousands. The place value of the 2 is the 2, 10 millions. So the place value of the 2 is 2, 10 millions. The place value of the 7 is simply just seven hundreds and the place value of the three is three now we've got units here millions that just means straight millions units just mean ones so it's ones of millions or millions Second slide, uh, in the number 21,534,900,670, what is the place value of the 5? Okay, now before we get started here, it may help a little bit if we write a TH for thousands there, M for millions, B for billions. That will just help us when we need to find the place value instead of having the number in a table like we did in the previous question. So the 5, the 5 is located there. Now within that set of 3, the 5 is in the hundreds place. So that is 5, 100 million. Now the 2 is in that particular place, which within that set of three digits is in the tens position. So the place value of it is tens of, and with the B above, 10 billion. Okay, the 7 is very straightforward. It's in our hundreds, tens, ones, or units area. So that is um, that is seven tens. The three is in this position. That lines up within that set of three digits. It's in the tens position. So this is three ten million. And now the nine. The 9 is here. Within the three digits that we, we're talking about, it's, um, it's a 100. And it's within the set of three digits, which are all about thousands. So the 9 is there to mean 900,000. This is the second video from the module called Whole Numbers and Integers. And in this video, we're writing large numbers in digit form. So looking at the question in front of us, we're asked to write 1,420,250 in digit form. Now, as it discusses in the uh, text, these words million, thousands, <laughs> Uh, good keywords to, to leave that gap that you need between each set of three digits. So going with this, I would write 1 and then leave a gap. 420, all right, I'll just write that as digits there, so that's 420,000, leave a gap. 250, that's 250, so gap 250. So yes, I've written the number in digit form 1,420,250. The next example is to write 13,500,000,000 in 
in digit form. And the first thing you notice is there's no mentions of there's no mention of thousands, nor hundreds, tens, and units. So let's let's go through the process anyway. We've got billions, we've got millions. They're our cues for a gap. We don't have the word thousands here, but we we will need to do something about that shortly. So 13 billion is 13, leave a gap. 500 million. Now we need to state the obvious. We need to state there are no thousands and there are no hundreds, tens units. Moving on to the next example, we're asked to write in digit form 5 billion, 375 million, 500 thousand. So these are our Q words this time, billions, millions and thousands. They're our Q words to leave a space. So we have 5 billion, 5 with a space, 375 million, leave a space, 500,000, leave a space. We need to put in 000 for our hundreds, tens and units. Going to the next example, we're asked to write in digit form 12 million, 643,973. So let's look at our Q words is billions and I beg your pardon, millions and thousands. So here we have 12 million, leave a space, 643,000, leave a space, 973. Moving on to the next slide, the number this time we've got to put in digit form is 4,178,500,000. So our Q words are billion, million and thousand. So it is 4,178,500,000. Five hundred thousand. We need to state the obvious, which is that there's zero hundred, zero tens, and zero units. This is the last slide in this video. We were asked to write in digit form twelve million six hundred and forty three thousand nine hundred and seventy three. We've got some Q words here of millions and thousands. So it is 12,643,973. I've probably exaggerated the spaces a bit much there.